Hi guys, I already did this video once. Mm -hmm. This has been happening lately. Our loom is not working correctly. So I already graded or corrected our morning work for today. But let's go back over it so I can make sure that you have all of your correct answers, okay? I'm sorry about that, but I, was, I did the whole thing with you and then the video just quit. All right, let's head over. We're going to do... Um, I need to get down here. We're going to do page 58. Let's get the camera going. All right. So we talked about where the commas need to go in our addresses. So we always separate the street, the, the street or the road from the city from the state. Okay. So Desi's family lives at 312 Robin Street, Chicago, Illinois. The French words, so we don't say the S. Number two, Uncle Frank has a ranch in Duncan, Idaho. We separate the town from the state. Number three, there are lots of schools in Baltimore, Maryland, USA. So we separated city, state, country. Number four, I was born at the hospital at 12 Halifax Road, Gary, Indiana. Okay, check yours and if you have any mistakes, go ahead and fix them. Okay, you can pause this if you need to. All right, down here, Mr. Wally made six trays of cookies. So we wrote six. There are 12 cookies on each tray. If the cookies are divided equally among nine children, how many cookies will each child get? So I showed two ways. One is writing 12 times six and we do two times six is 12. So we put the two here and we carry the one. Now, when we multiply like this, we just multiply these two numbers and we add that one we carried. So six times one would be six plus one more is seven, 72. Or I showed how we can add it. 12 plus 12 equals 24. So that's two 12s, we need six of them. Plus 12 is 36 plus 12 is 48 so there's the fourth one we need two more plus 12 is 60 plus 12 is 72 okay so we wrote 72 cookies in all 72 cookies in all divided by nine children and we can do our nines trick this is 70 this is 272 so the eighth finger is down so eight cookies per child it's a lot of cookies per child and the bottom we talked about mrs thor is a teacher and every summer she goes to south america to help people in need she does different things to help one summer she taught science to children who don't have a school to go to she set up her classroom in a field another time she helped build houses for people who need a place to live when school starts again each year, she shares her adventures with her class. She shows photos and then asks her students to tell about their summer vacations. Okay, what part of this text reminds you of events in the real world? So I just said, Mrs. Thor does many things like help build houses for those in need and shares her adventures with her class. Right. So that's why I went back through and I just underlined the things that I was like, oh, yeah, that's real world. That really does happen. All right. So if you need to, you can pause this, um, get anything fixed that you would need to get fixed. And then we are all done with our morning work for um, the rest of the month. We're not going to start another one until January 4th when we come back. And um, so please make sure, let me come back here so we can talk. And so please make sure that you put all of your school supplies in that tub that I sent home with you when you first met me. Um, that way, when, you know, over break, you're done with school, take a break. Um, but when we come back, you're not looking all over, where's my book? And I can't find it. It'll be right where it's supposed to be. So please make sure you take a second, put all of your books back in your tub when you are done. Um, and they'll be all ready to go. All right, that's all for morning work. Until January, we're going to get ready to do vocabulary. So I will see you there.